Good morning and welcome to Be Fit Live. Happy Monday, Roy and Sergeant Barry. How are you guys doing? Hi, Leah. Happy Monday to you. It's so good to be back for another Be Fit Live. Excellent. Well, let's just jump right into it. You guys who are watching, if you have any questions for Roy throughout the, the Be Fit Live or any modifications, anything that you need help with, just let us know and I will be happy to read those out to Roy and get answers for you guys. And Roy, let's get this going. Thank you, Leah. Sergeant Barry, so good to have you back with us today. Welcome back. We have a full body workout planned for us today. Uh, first off, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to everyone out there, uh, all of our BFIT Nation watching us today. Uh, it's so great to have you on a Monday. It's a great way to start the week, great way to get in tune with your bodies, to, to just kick off the week and progress and, and just know that from here on throughout the week, you can accomplish everything that's set forward uh, within your path here. So full body workout is what we have today. I was, um, I was telling a friend of mine the other day, yeah, actually yesterday, that what's great about having a workout that's already programmed for you is that you, it takes all the guesswork out of working out here. So, you know, you can follow along with us. There, there's no guesswork. You, you follow along with less than 30 minutes of a, of a full body workout is what we're going to tackle today. And it just makes it fun. Again, no guesswork involved. You follow along and it's just, you show up, you put in the work to the best of your abilities. And it's, it's, there's, there's no better way than to just take that weight off your shoulders for a, than a uh, programmed workout. So Full body workout is what we have today. We are going to be tackling 40 seconds on of work, 20 seconds of rest. We're gonna, we're gonna hit four rounds and in between each round, we're gonna have one minute rest here. So our full body workout is gonna consist of a lunge to overhead press, 20 seconds each leg, a T push up, which is a great variation to a push up with uh, an addition to some core stability work an alternating reverse fly. So we're gonna target our mid to upper back here with the alternating reverse fly and the plank dip, uh, plank dips actually. So we are, usually I do not want you to roll your hips, but for this workout, we are going to roll our hips and dip them left and right, okay? So let me go through each one of these as a demo and then we'll get started with our dynamic stretches here. So a forward to overhead press, we should be familiar with the lunge to overhead press here. We are gonna stand in a split stance position here for our lunge, right leg forward, left leg is back. We are gonna drop down. We are going to have a weight racked on our opposite shoulder. So if our right leg is forward, our left leg is back. We are racking the weight here in our left arm. We are gonna lunge down into uh, almost, your knees almost hovering the ground here. And then we are gonna push up to extend all the way to the top, that is correct, ma'am. And that's gonna be our lunge to overhead press, okay? We're gonna hit 20 seconds of each leg there. Now, we'll go right into the, uh, our second set, which is the T push-up. Let me scale this uh, down here. Just like our conventional push-up here, we will go down into a push-up. Once we rise back up to the top, we are going to rotate our bodies over to where that arm is facing the sky here and your gaze is gonna be directly straight up. So down into our push up, and this is going to be alternating. So left to right here, take your time with this. A few notes here, take your time. We're uh, chasing the clock here, not the reps and uh, really focus on uh, stability and control here. Alternating reverse flies. If you do not have any dumbbells or any, uh, any weight, any resistance of some sort, I want you to make some fists here. We're going to stand shoulder width apart. We are going to have a slight hinge at the hips here. And we are just going to open up our arms here. Really uh, moving those fists here, making a fist and squeezing all the way at the top, squeezing your shoulder blades together. And again, we're hitting that mid to upper back here. So that's gonna be our target range. That's where I want you to focus on working those muscles here. Nice big W here. So we're just gonna make a nice W with our arms. And then lastly, the plank dips. We'll go back to the ground here. We're gonna be on our elbows at a plank. Hands are gonna be down. 
to the floor. Your gaze should be right at your fingertips here. Feet are shoulder width apart. And I just want you to roll here to the left and to the right at your pace, at your comfort level. And you'll really feel that conditioning and strengthening and isolating in your obliques here. So again, with that, that um, T push up, you'll feel that uh, stability within your core, but then also those uh, plank dips, we will feel our obliques working as well. So that's what, we've, that's what we got for today. Again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds, one minute rest in between each round. Let's get started. Are we ready, Sergeant Barry? Looks fantastic to me, let's do this. All right, all right, <laughs> Deep Nation, let's grab some water. And we will, we will hit some dynamic stretches first and foremost, so that way we can get our bodies tuned, get our bodies ready to go, and get our mindset for this work that we're about to accomplish here. So let's start off with some knee hugs here. I'm gonna pull my left leg and my right leg, knee to chest here, knee to chest. Nice and slow to your pace, to your abilities here. It should be nice and comfortable. We're gonna build up through these dynamic stretches. So that way our heart rate, our muscles, and their mind can get ready to work here and they will progress. Nice, okay, we're gonna go into a reverse lunge to reach. We're gonna reverse lunge back and we're going to reach all the way over to the side here. Again, come back to start, reverse lunge and stretch. There we go, we're gonna hit five on each side here. There's two for me, finishing up two. Nice long stretch here. Again, this is a great time to get in tune with your body. Really analyzing how your body's feeling. If it's a little slow, a little sluggish like mine, that's a great time to kind of wake it up and say, hey, we're about to get working. We're gonna put some work in this morning. So last one for me here. All right, let's go ahead and shake that out. I just want you to roll your, roll your arms here into arm circles here. Forward first and foremost. Start with small circles. And let's roll out to larger circles here. Get our shoulders warmed up and let's reverse to the other direction. Start small if you need and then go larger. Nice, since we got some lunge work, let's go into alternating fixed lateral lunges. Our feet are going to be pointed forward. Really wide stance here. We are going to lunge over to our right. And then again on top, squeeze your back together here. And then lunge over to your left. Hands are gonna be in front of you. And squeezing, making sure that your spine is nice and long and your back is flat here. Nice, good work. This should be nice and smooth, nice and controlled. Take your time here, going through these dynamic stretches, feeling out your body, feeling out where you are for today's workout. Not every workout may be the same. So now's a good time to really figure out where your body is with respect to this workout. Okay. Some nice body weight squats here to finish up our warm up. Let's hit 10, 10 reps here. Nice and smooth, nice and controlled here. Quality of form, form is our ultimate goal here. Our knees are gonna be tracking over our toes. Long spine, flat back here. All right, I'm gonna shake that out. I'm gonna towel off, grab some water, start my timer, and then we are gonna to get to work here. 
All right. <clears throat> Let's start the timer. Again, if you're just joining us, we are going to be tackling 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four exercises, and four rounds uh, for each exercise here. Four rounds for in total here. And one minute rest in between each round because I know we've earned it. All right, 10 seconds here. Lunge to overhead press in six, five. Weight is racked, right leg forward, left leg is back. Let's go ahead and lunge at the top. Press above your head here. Lunge and press. Should be nice and smooth here to your comfort level. Let's pick the weight that's most comfortable to you. 18 seconds here. Let's go ahead and switch. Left leg forward, right leg is back. Nice and smooth here, nice and controlled. Really feel that those quads working your posterior chain with your glutes, your calves and time. Shoulders should be warming up here. T push-ups here in 12 seconds. Good work, good work. First round is always the toughest. All right. Go down two, one, T push ups here. Down, up, rotate. Left arm to the sky. All right, take your time with this. Really focusing on stabilization. Again, we're hitting our chest here with that press. And then open up that arm, face to the sky. Your gaze should be up to your fingertips. And if you need to hang out there, at the top, feel free and balance at the top there. There you go, seven more seconds of work, we got it. Two, one last rep, get it in. Nice, good work, good work, Sergeant Barry. 15 hey. seconds of rest here, yes ma'am. <laughs> All right, alternating reverse flies. Seven seconds for this first round, I'm gonna make this here. I'm gonna make my fist two, one. All right, here we go. Shoulder width, feet are shoulder width apart here. My hands are slightly hanging here. And I'm making a big W, big W here, clenching those fists and really exaggerating the top right there to contract your back. You should feel your shoulder blades contracting and coming together there. 17 more seconds of work. And this is the first round. If you scaled up and you're having weight in your hands, good work. Five seconds, three. All right, and rest. 20 seconds of rest here and we will go into the plank dips. Plank dips in 10. How are we doing? How are we feeling, BFIT Nation? All right, five seconds, plank dips. I'm down on my Elbows here, hands are flat, facing the ground, and let's work here. Just rotating the hips side to side. Your feet should be almost together here. We want to focus on that rotation. There we go. Keep that core stabilized. Keep that stomach, that belly button, that navel pushed in toward your glutes. Speaking of glutes, keep them nice and tight. 10 more seconds here. Keep rotating. Five, three, two, one, time. All right, good work. One minute rest now. One minute rest and we will restart from the top. All right, now's a great time to get some water. Again, stay hydrated. Towel off if you need. All right, 30 seconds here. Again, if you're just joining us, we are hitting four exercises this morning, a lunge to overhead press, T push-ups, alternating reverse flies, and plank dips. 
that's going to hit our full body for the morning. Again, no better way to start off our Monday than to get our body moving, to get our minds moving, to clear our minds, and to focus on us for, for just these 30 minutes, if, if not more. Okay, lunge to overhead press here in three, two, my right leg is back. I'm sorry, my left leg is back. My right leg is forward. I'm down into a lunge and I'm pressing at the top here. 20 seconds each leg, 10 more seconds and we will rotate left leg forward, right leg back, weight in our right arm. One, all right, let's alternate here. Switch that weight, rack it in my right arm. Right leg is back, like left leg is forward. All right, really want you to focus on that quad. Your weight should be on that forward foot here. Most of your weight, one and time. All right, good work. Good work, good work, keep it up. T push-ups are up next. Again, if we need to hang in that high plank position and just rotate, that's perfectly fine. Take the push-up out of it. Go ahead and rotate up and back down. Again, scaling back down. If you need to take that push-up out of the equation here, feel free. And the wider your foot stance is here, the more help, the more stability you're gonna feel. Do you wanna make it more challenging? Keep your feet closer together. 10 more seconds here. Nice and slow here. Four, three, two, can we get one more? And rest. All right, good work, good work. All right, alternating reverse flies. Again, if you do not have any weight, go ahead and make a fist. If you do have dumbbells or water bottles or gallons of water lying around, let's go ahead and work here. Time to work. There you go. Hinge at the hips here. Again, we're making a W with our arms here. Contracting our shoulder blades back. Our gaze should be just a few feet in front of us here. Making sure our spine is long and our back is flat here. Eight more seconds. Five, three, two, one, and time. All right. I know my back is burning, my arms are tight, all in a good workout there. Plank dips in eight. All right, let's get down on the shoulders here. Three, two, all right. And we're on here. Again, a plank, hands are gonna be down on the floor here. Our gaze should just stay right above our fingertips. We are just rotating and dipping those hips just slightly to our comfort here. Keeping our core nice and tight. Our navel should be back. Glutes are tight. Our posterior chain is tight. Glutes, hamstrings, calves. Six, six seconds here. Finish out strong. Two, one, time. Good work. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Just a little bit of rotation and that disrupts our, our bodies and forces us to compensate, balance and stabilize. 40 seconds of rest here. Good work. All right. BFit Nation, where you where are you watching from? Where are you listening from? Drop us a comment, drop us a note, let us know where you're from. I'm coming from Dallas this morning. It is about 92 degrees and I am outside getting my home workout on. So it is warming up today. 
All right, six more seconds and we'll go into that lunge to overhead press, grabbing my weight, right forward, forward, left foot is back, my weight is racked and I'm working. I find round three to always be the best round. The body is nice and warm. It already knows what you're throwing at it. So no surprises here. 17 seconds of work here. Let's alternate. Nine more seconds here. Three, two, one. Great work. Good work, good work. All right, our favorite T push ups. I recently came across T push ups and they've been incorporated into a lot of my push up variations. So <laughs> it's a great one here. All right, let's work. Down and rotate. Hand to the sky, gaze to the sky. There we go. Nice and smooth, nice and controlled. Again, if you need to hang up at this top position, let's hang out here for a while. See how it feels. A little longer here. Really get that stretch in there. See how your body responds here. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, push it out. All right. Good work, 20 seconds of rest here. <laughs> We've earned it. All turn and reverse flies are gonna be up next. All right, picking my weight here, reverse fly. Here we go, let's begin. Feet, shoulder width apart here. I'm hinged at the hips and I'm making a W with my arms, really focusing on Contracting our shoulder blades together. Again, if you need to rest the weight on your shoulders, if you have shoulders on, if you on your legs, if you have weight on your in your hands, let's go ahead and rest them. And if you need to alternate here, now's a good time to incorporate alternating reverse flies here. There we go. Seven seconds of work here. Let's push it out. Nice and strong. Three, two, one. Good work. There we go. Sergeant Barry showing us how closing those fists on those reverse flies really accentuating that top. Really nice focus there, good job. All right, down on the floor here, plank dips in three, two, one, I'm down and we're working here. Elbows on the floor, hands flat on the floor here. My gaze is just above my, my fingertips. Nice and smooth here. Again, 20 seconds of work. My obliques, my core is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 12 seconds here. Let's finish out this third round strong. Keep your core tight. Through two, two, one. And time. <laughs> All right. Good work. Excellent work, you guys. Good work. Thank you, Leah. Roy, I just want to take a second and tell you that people are watching uh, from all over, but Phyllis says, I wish I could do push ups. So, do you oh. have an alternative for Phyllis? Absolutely, Phyllis. Uh, go ahead and start. And scale it down to your knees here. Go ahead and start, instead of on your toes, go ahead and start to your knees. It's gonna take a lot of the upper weight out of you here, but make sure that it's, this is comfortable. You don't want your arms to be too far out. You want them to be chest level here and tuck those elbows in just a little bit and you should feel more comfort on your shoulders and on your wrists. But scale down to your knees. Time. Great, great question, Phyllis. Great question. And thank you for watching, absolutely. 
There we go. Five more seconds here. Good job, BFIT Nation. Three seconds. We're going to alternate. All right. Almost lost it. And I'm alternating here. Left leg forward. My right leg is back. I'm lunging and press. Lunge to overhead press here. Again, resistance is not needed. You don't need a weight to accomplish this exercise here. Two, one, and let's rest. All right, good job. <laughs> 10 more seconds here. T push ups in five. Here's the scaled down version. If we need to come off of our knees and push up and master our push up first before we go into that T rotation, that's perfectly fine. Substitute that push up T rotation with push ups here. Again, some of these are really great variations to our foundational movements like a push up like a squat, like a lunge and our plank. We're just adding in a little extra to challenge ourselves just a little bit more. Two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here. Good work. All turning reverse flies are up next. <clears throat> Again, I know workouts can be a little less creative at home. So if we can just spice things up just a little bit by adding in of a different foot or grip or twist, then that'll make it just a little bit more challenging for us, especially for workouts at home where we don't have a lot of equipment accessible to us here. 20 seconds of work left, alternating reverse flies. We're hinge at the hips here, soft bend at our knees making that W with our arms. There we go. Contracting our shoulder blades, bring our shoulder blades together in three, two, one, and rest. Good work. Good work. Plank dips are up next. Here we go, in nine. Plank dips. And if the dip is too challenging in three, Two, one, let's work. Go ahead and scale back and take out that rotation and just hang out here on your shoulders. Again, hands are facing the floor. Your gaze is just at your fingertips. You're keeping that core strong, strong core, nice and engaged. Your navel is contracted back. Your glutes are strong. Your hamstrings, your calves, you're feeling it here. Nice and contracted here. 11 more seconds of work. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and master these exercises and then we'll move up to the rotation. And time. Last set, best set. <laughs> Last set, best set. <clears throat> Four rounds already in the books. They fly so fast. <laughs> You know, Roy, I thought since I took last week off that you'd give me a break this week, but <laughs> no such thing, huh? Uh, <laughs> no, it was good. It was a great workout. You, you know, what's what's great is is if you take a, a week off, you know, focus on your body, let your body heal, take your time to rest and recover, and you will find that it takes much longer for you to bounce back into the the shape or 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 the strength that you thought you may have been in, it takes a lot less time to bounce back into that. So great job and great to have you back. And I know I saw you pushing through, so you did great. You did awesome. <clears throat> Thank you. It's good. Yes, ma'am. And I think that, that's, a, that's a great note for anyone watching out there, BFit Nation. It, you know, if you, if you aim, set those micro goals and, and aim to get three, maybe two, two to four exercises, two to four workouts in a week. And, and if you can do more, those are bonus. If you, if you do less than two, if your goal is two and you, and you, you do one, that's perfectly fine. Don't beat yourself down. Don't <clears throat> let it hover over you the next week. Just program, reset, take some time to recalibrate, if you will, 
And then no, write down your goals, write them down. Trust me, that helps. Write down your goals, set your plan for the week, set your plan of action, and then just go through and check it off. You know, if, if your workouts are Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, and maybe Saturdays for some fun runs, by all means, check them off your list and know that you are progressing each week and each micro goal will get you to that macro goal that you're setting. So great job. Great job. Way to stick with us. This was an easy workout. So great work. I like the twists. Ooh, it got <laughs> oh, you, hard at the end though. You like... did. Yes. Absolutely. Those little bit of tweaks in any exercise can just add so much more benefit and so much more challenge to that, you know, that fundamental and then that foundation exercise. So just those adding in those little rotations, it forces your body to stabilize and counter. And so that just, that's, that's all it takes. A great work, great work, everyone. You guys did awesome. I'm feeling very jealous <laughs> and, and mad at myself for not working out on a Monday morning. <laughs> We are, we are going to get Leah to work out with us soon. I know she will. I, <laughs> I know you will. <clears throat> Getting there is half the battle, right? Absolutely. Just need to absolutely. show up. That is, that's absolutely half the battle. Half the battle is showing up. It's surprising. Once you get your body moving, you get your body stretching, maybe you're foam rolling. You know, again, you're stretching. Once you get that blood flowing, your body, your body just naturally picks up. And, and if you can get your mind to agree with your body or vice versa, it will follow. So tell your mind that you want your body to move mm -hmm. and absolutely it will follow. Show Great up. motivation, Roy. <laughs> Great motivation. Thank you. Well, for everybody watching, thank you so much for joining. We do these BeFit Lives every single Monday. Roy is here. He's our BeFit ambassador. And Sergeant Barry, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Barry is usually with us. So thanks to both of you and thanks for everybody watching. Roy, it, do you guys have anything, Sergeant Barry? Sergeant Barry? Any final goodbyes? <laughs> no, just thanks again for watching. Um, if you're working out with us, I can definitely feel the progression. So it's awesome that we're building upon what we're learning. So thanks for being here with us. Um, thanks, Roy and Leah. Absolutely. And, and thank you, BFit Nation. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching, tuning in. And again, watch, watch these videos back. And uh, like I said in the beginning, it takes the guesswork. If you're showing up and, and you, don't, you don't really know what to do right off the bat, go ahead and revisit some of these workouts and, and take the guesswork out, work out and just follow along with our progression as well. And it will really help to progress you forward in your uh, workout goals. So thank you, BFET Nation. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for tuning in. And we will see you next week. Bye, guys.